up y'all welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking to watch this video i'm tanisha if you're new and welcome to my bathroom today i'm actually going to be trying out some skincare a little background on my skin i've had acne since seventh grade and now i'm in my 20s so what like over 10 years i've had persistent acne um it's just now starting to get under control uh with the new products i've been using but there's one staple in my skincare routine that I've stuck to, not super frequently, but it's been around. And it's this baby right here, the Aztec Secrets Indian Healing Clay Mask. Um, now I use it maybe like once or twice a month, but when I do use it, it really makes a difference with my skin. So I, I thought, let me use it for a whole week straight and see what happens with my skin. Let me give you a close up. Um, the lighting's kind of bad, but you can see I have some bumps on my forehead. My cheeks especially gets bad. Um, right now I have a little bit of powder on my skin um, just to even out my skin tone. But otherwise, if I didn't have it on, you would see I had like dark spots that stuck out more, bumps, whatever. Yeah. So my skin is acne prone, oily, maybe even combination. Um, I don't know. But all I know is I'm acne prone, so I'm gonna try this out for a week and see what happens. Right now I'm gonna use this oil to rinse off my face cause I ran out of makeup wipes and use my Urban Skin RX um, cleansing bar to clean my face and follow up with the mask. <laughs> and clean i'm gonna mix up the mask apply it on my face leave it on for about maybe about five or so minutes and rinse it off in the shower and then i'll be back while i'm here i might as well just show myself making the mask actually and i mix it using the lid of the container i don't use like any other um bowl or anything like that maybe half a spoonful and put it in the lid i don't measure anything because i've been using it long enough it doesn't really matter and then i also use apple cider vinegar um to mix it you can also use water i just like how it works better with apple cider vinegar i just kind of eyeball it can't even show it <laughs> if you have the mask and this is like your first time um making it there are directions um on the container on how to do it I like a thicker consistency as opposed to a more runny one. So if I do end up putting too much um, apple cider vinegar in it, I just um, add more of the clay. And if I put too much clay, I just add more apple cider vinegar. It's a little too thick, so I'm gonna add more vinegar. Oh, also you don't wanna mix this with um, anything metal, especially if you're using the apple cider vinegar because it reacts poorly and that can cause damage to your skin. All right, I've pretty much got it to the consistency that I like. Ooh, it's cold. And I really need this mask too because I've been falling asleep in my makeup. We should never do that. Zombie like me, baby. Mm -mm -mm. It has a pretty terrible smell, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but you get used to it. And the only thing I dislike about this mask is how tight it gets on your face. It's like I like it and I hate it because it's pulsating. Yeah, it feels like it's pulsating, but um, sometimes it can hurt. I'm like, what? Can I have my face back? Mm -hmm. Or not? 
All right, I for sure want to get my forehead because it's been acting unusual. I don't really need it on this part, but since I've not been good to my skin, I'm going to just put it all over and then maybe throughout the week, I'll just put it where I really, really need it. Okay. Perfect amount. Okay, so I just rinsed off the mask. So my face is a little dry and red, but so far so good. Um, now you can kind of see the texture that I have as well as the dark spots. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is day one. What is it? December 26th. So excited to see the results. Everything else in my skincare routine, I'm gonna keep the same. So my moisturizers, my toners, all of that is the same. The only thing I'm adding is this mask every night. And I better be uh, flawless after this. Now let me stop. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see the results. So I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye. Hello y'all, welcome to night two of seven. I'm sorry if I'm low energy, it's late. And of course I waited till now to do it, but I gotta commit. As you just saw, I washed my face, rinsed it all off, and now I'm about to mix the mask. Same thing as last time, apple cider vinegar and a scoop of the clay. Don't mind my appearance also, I wrap my hair for bed. Uh, whatever, this is real life. All right, I think this is good now. It's night two, so I'm not really seeing obviously a huge difference with my skin. I do have this like little dry patch here that I get mainly just because it's winter, so I'm not gonna put the uh, mask there just so I don't irritate it more than it is. But yeah, same drill as last time. Today is Friday the 27th, so we're going into the weekend. It doesn't even feel like a Friday. Ugh. Can't believe it's about to be a new year. What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I still have to make my vision board. <laughs> I think that's all I'm gonna do. Keep it here. Yeah, the patch is here, so I'm gonna avoid that. All right. <laughs> Checking after. Oh my god, I can barely talk. <laughs> okay, I'm all moisturized and ready for bed. I can say that my skin is feeling like tighter, especially like my forehead. Okay, okay. We'll see where it goes. Good night. On to night three of the mask. Mix this up again. Again. This reminds me of the Amanda show. But anyway, obviously, I already have my face cleaned. While I'm mixing, I might as well say that um, for those who have like really sensitive skin, I doubt that this would be like good to do seven days straight. Because again, it is a really intense mask it gets really tight so keep that in mind so far i've been fine with it this is the third night and i'm not having any like reaction or 
heightened sensitivity in my skin, which is good. So I most definitely forgot to check in, but this is night four of the face mask. So far, so good. I just finished watching Queen and Slim earlier, so I'm a little, a little in my feelings, but 12 out of 10 would recommend. Um, but yeah, the mask is making some differences with my acne, bringing some to the surface, especially on my right cheek. There's a lot coming to the surface, but yeah. I need to stop doing these masks so late because I'm just so tired after. <laughs> but I'm technically more than halfway done, so that's good. Happy New Year! It's 2020. I can't believe it. It's a new decade. I spent the day actually in church. Well, I spent the night was really good but that means that it's technically another day so i missed the night of doing the mask but since it's like the sixth time in a row i'm just gonna count it so i'm gonna rinse this off and do the mask happy new year And alas, I am on night seven of doing the face mask. I powered through. It looked dark for some nights. You know, I didn't think I was gonna make it. I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank my mom. God, of course. No. <laughs> All right, let me stop. But for real, night seven of the mask. Feeling good, feeling great. So after I rinse off this mask, I'm gonna check in and give my final thoughts on how my skin has changed throughout this whole week of doing the mask. Okay. And after a week of doing the mask, here we are. Finally, okay? <laughs> um, I could say that doing the mask for a week, I definitely saw a difference in my skin as far as the tightness in my forehead um, the overall even, evenness, the tone of my skin is more even. Um, and yeah, I didn't have anything negative, like heightened sensitivity. My acne didn't worsen. Um, I wouldn't say drastically made a difference, but I definitely see the perks of using the mask, like more often than I was before. I'm definitely not going to do it for a week again, just cause making it every night was just a little much for me. But yeah, I'm actually happy with how things turned out. If you do have sensitive skin, this may not be the best option because the mask is super intense. Um, but otherwise, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay? Okay. Uh, 2020, I just need my skin to continue to clear. Lord. Other than that, I don't have anything negative to say other than just making my mask is probably the worst thing about about the process. Um, I enjoy what it's done to my skin. And that's, that's really about it. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, try this out for yourself and see how it works out. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.